This has been a journey of the last five, six years of thousands of people at Ford Motor Company, literally from the beginning of the conception of the product to the designing and testing phases, and then all of the hardships that we went through in terms of completely transforming our business in preparation for this all new range of the massive investment that Ford Motor Company made of a billion dollars in South Africa to ensure that the vehicles that we build come off the line with the best quality that we can possibly deliver to our customers. We really care about um, consumer education, um, especially when it relates to possessions and uh, helping people look after what, what matters to them most. Um, and when we looked at the Car of the Year Award, we think it plays a very critical role in consumer education. Um, and just looking at what it's done over the close to 40 years of its existence, we just felt it'll be good to, to step in and help it continue that, that legacy. And has really evolved to reflect the modern times. I think COVID has done so much to change our world and the way that we look at things and the way that we do things. So I think that that um, necessitated a change in thinking and an approach. And I really applaud the Guild for embracing that wholeheartedly and looking at it and saying, how do we maintain the core principles of the Car of the Year competition, which is a very long, a uh, very uh, esteemed history, but how do we modernize it and keep pace um, with the times as things have changed? I think also if you look at how the judging panel has evolved over the years, this year we have for the first time a South African black female chair lady. So bringing in diverse views as well into how you judge coffee is also important. So you bring in diversity into how we inform consumers and the thinking that goes into that, but also continue to maintain that level of credibility and trust. Our user behavior has changed. And it also means that the consumer-centric or the, the human-centered design principles that we follow have actually resonated because we've been able to take what is always considered to be a utilitarian vehicle and turn it into an everyday vehicle that families can enjoy, but is still very functional, very practical, but makes absolutely no compromise when it comes to quality, refinement, safety, technology, performance. South Africa as an automotive market has evolved. The Bucky today is so multifaceted. And I think that that's a really exciting development. I must admit I had a favorite. I really enjoyed Ford who actually ended up winning. And the biggest reason was the investment into the country. I think I found that heartwarming. So I knew more about the backstory. And purely because of that, I was like, it would be amazing if a company that's you know really looked at South Africa from a long-term perspective, realizing its potential, investing more through the construction of the Ford Ranger in particular. It'll be amazing if, if they won the award, and yeah, I was very happy for it.